Okay, so in this problem, we're told what is the pressure inside a 38 liter container holding 105 kilograms of argon gas at 20 degrees Celsius? So in this problem, what we're going to be solving for is the pressure. So I can say pressure equals question mark. Uh, and then we're given some other information. Uh, we're given the temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius. We're given the mass of argon, which is 105 kilograms. We're given the volume of the container, uh, which is 38 liters. Uh, and then also to solve this, we're going to need to know the gas constant, which is equal to 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. So in order to solve this, we're going to use the ideal gas law, which basically tells us PV equals NRT, uh, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, uh, N is the number of moles you have, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature. So in this case, we're going to be solving for the pressure. So if we just uh, divide both sides by V, we get P equals NRT over V. And so this is what we're going to use to solve, uh, but we're going to need to find uh, all of these. So uh, we know what R is. R is uh, 8.314 uh, joules per mole kel uh, Kelvin. So uh, keep in mind that this is in Kelvin, so we need to make sure our temperature is also in Kelvin. So to convert 20 degrees Celsius into Kelvin, you add 273.15. So 20 plus 273.15, uh, that's going to give you 293.15 Kelvin. Sorry for writing it kind of weird. So uh, let's just rewrite it over here. So this is 293.15 K. So now we've got the temperature, we've got R, we need the volume in the correct units. So when you do this, you want it to be in meters cubed. So not liters here, we need it in meters cubed. So 38 liters. And so to convert 38 liters, you just do, uh, we know that there are 1000 liters for every one cubic meter. So you would just divide by a thousand here. So 38 divided by a thousand, that'll give you 0 0.038. So you have 0 0.038, and now we have it in the correct units, uh, meters cubed. Uh, and then finally, we need N, which is the number of moles uh, of argon, right? So since we're dealing with argon, uh, argon here, we need to convert the mass of argon, 105 kgs, uh, into the number of moles. So to convert this, you're going to use the molar mass of argon. So what you want to do is just go on Google, type in molar mass of argon. So you're going to get that it equals to uh, 39.948. So uh, this is 39.948 grams. Or sorry. Yeah. Okay, wait. We also have to convert this into uh, grams first. Sorry about that. So we know that there is 1 kg for every 1,000 grams. So that gets rid of that. Uh, and then we know it's for every 1 or... For every 39.948 grams, there is one mole. So we need it in the correct units. So 105 times 1,000 divided by 39.948. So 2628.42, we'll say. Uh, keep in mind the units are going to be moles. Uh, and now what we want to do is just plug it in. So P equals the number of moles. All right, so P equals the number of moles, which we just found. 2628.42 times 8.314. Uh, and then we multiply that by our temperature here, which is equal to 293.15 and divide that by our volume which was 0 0.038 so let's plug all this in so 2628.42 times 8.314 times 293.15 divided by 0 0.038 and so when you do this you're going to get the pressure equals 
one six eight five eight one seven five eight. So I'm gonna round this in scientific notation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 1.69 times 10 to the eight. Uh, and then when you put it in this way, you're gonna have Pascals. So Pascals, which are written in Newtons per meter squared. Uh, and yeah, so 1.69 times 10 to the eight Pascals, that's gonna go ahead and be your answer. Uh, just quick rundown we had to have it in the correct units when we did it here so pv equals nrt which is the ideal gas law we need the volume to be in meters cubed which we converted using this we need the temperature to be in kelvin which we just uh, did by adding 273.15 uh, the gas constant is just a number you memorize and then to convert uh, the number of or to convert from the mass of argon to moles right because we need it in moles you multiply it get it in grams and then use the molar mass, which is basically the amount of grams per mole. Uh, and then, yeah, just multiply and then plug everything in and you'll get your answer in Pascals. So you can write it in PA. So generally people say you write Pascals in PA. So you can write it just Pascals or PA, however you want to write it. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.